So I'm set up. I'm getting three slitted shotgun coils. No cool pads. So, what I'm gonna have them do is I'm gonna have them load the center one up first. And then my H blocks, in other words, this block right here will go against the face of my cool. And then this block. And then I'm gonna run this one this way. And then I'll put this one here. And then when I set this front cool down, it's gonna rest right there. I want to tie all these together. Now, I'm still going to run two chains through the eye of each one. So I'll have two chains crossed through this one, two chains crossed through this one, and two chains crossed through here. I'll have a trip chain on the back, and I'll have a trip chain on the front. That's going to be all eight chains. Then I'm going to put chains, or uh, excuse me, straps over the top, and then I will use my two inch straps for my 12 o'clock securement because I'm out of chains. So, uh, that's that's the that's the issue. I will try to give you some footage of it here in just a minute. It's Monday. You wear your hat like this on Mondays. That's in honor of Scotty Mitchell. It's hot. Ninety degrees. It rained all morning. And so uh humidity is just killer I'll show you what I got going on here in just a second how many securements do I have left people one one four inch straps all I've got left two chains X through the eye of each section of cools middle section's got five the rear section has four front section has four then I put a strap over each segment or as many as will fit well, guess what? I can't put one right here. My light. And plus, I'm out of winches on both sides. So I'm, I am use a two inch right here, okay? So that right there is probably the least dangerous one, the middle of the middle one. That's why I elected to do that. I've got my H blocks in there on both sections. That way my trip securement here and my trip securement right back here. I've still got to put a bungee on those. We'll hold everything tight. Then right up here, I've got a 12 o'clock strap. Use my felt edge protection to protect it. Ratchets on top of all that. Time to tarp it. Just want to give you all a little rundown what it looked like. Time consuming, I can tell you that. Man, I'm in meltdown mode already right now. There's not a dry thread on me. There was another Maverick here. I helped him secure inside before he pulled out. And uh, once again, guess what he does? He comes over here and asks me if I want some help before he leaves after he gets tarped. Now, go on, bud. I got it. So, right there it is. I'll show you something when I get it tarped. I'll show you what it looks like. Right there it is, fixing to roll out. Headed to uh, Northwest Arkansas. Supposed to be there tomorrow at nine o'clock. Huh. We'll see, I guess. I'm gonna have to get up there and see how much time I got left. Have I showed you that? See my sticker? Compliments of Craig Ryan. Super dude. Man. I need to get me some more of them made. Hand them out to people. That's that DOT tape. And uh, his wife had one of those cricket machines. So she just cut them out for him. He gave them away. He gave me a bunch of them. I've done gave them all away. But I uh, thought about getting some more. As always. I'm turn this around. Man, it's hot. I mean, it is bad. Bad. Humid here. 
as always, I appreciate y'all watching. And um, I'm going to leave you with one piece of advice before I go. If you ever decide to call down there at Maverick, and I'm talking to mostly Mavericks that, on this, make sure you got the right phone number before you call down there, okay? Um, I was trying to get a hold of a certain individual down there the other day, and I dialed the wrong number. And uh, But anyway, I didn't mean to. <laughs> you know, it's one of them deals. Uh, I thought I thought I knew their number, but off the top of my head, but it turns out my memory was not as good as I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, Y'all don't care, hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, drop me a comment, and uh, we'll talk about it. See y'all later on. Got a blue beacon truck wash as you saw joplin missouri you hear it it's coming i mean it's getting pretty rough sounds rough back in there you said well, what'd you get a truck wash for it's raining <laughs> my thoughts exactly but we have to do it every 15 days 15 days. Thanks for tagging along.